ओके सो लेट्स टेक लुक एट हाउ यू कैन कनेक्ट गूगल फॉर्म्स विथ गूगल एप शीट एंड हियर हैव वन ऑफ द फॉर्म ओके सो दिस इज पिज्जा ऑर्डर फॉर्म यू कैन सी द ऑप्शन एंड ऑल्सो देर इज ऑप्शन फॉर एक्सटर्स सो इफ वी टेक लुक एट इट यू विल फाइंड इट लुक समथिंग लाइक दिस राइट वेन यू गेट द रिस्पॉन्स इट शुड लुक समथिंग लाइक दिस Right. So basically, I have added four entries, choice, and then extras along with timestamp. So you can track the order. Right. So if I want to connect this with the app sheet, can make use of this app sheet add-on on workspace. So click add the app sheet add-on. I'll ask you for checking in your account. right you have to allow certain permissions and then you will notice that it has been installed and you can now use right so now i will just refresh my app sheet right also you can look at the option to create app through either existing data or you can also use import sheet so here in import sheet you will have to point to this particular if you want to right there are also extensions for example this app sheet you can connect to this create an app option right so what i can do is i will just reload this and hopefully the app sheet extension that we added gets updated here right now i will click on extension then you can see app sheet create an app and it will go in wizard mode we'll have to modify few things like the name and etc just close this right so here we we'll take a look at some of the settings here right so you can click manage we have all the option to deploy and so then there is settings here i will edit the name make it simple right scroll to the bottom change all the things that you wish to right and once you do you can save this right now if i want to check this particular i will just use the option on desktop here and if we take a look at these form responses it will look something like this so let's say i have new order and i will not edit the time stamp instead i will choose the option it should take this as a menu item so we may have to edit few things right so here you can see relationship and within legacy you can say or keep consistent right now let's take a look at all the available options there is table view then there is map view we are not using those for now right so what i will do is i will simply click on general here i will take a look at this is the sheet that we have and let's see what options we have let's go back to data right now what i can do here is i will check these options here you can see choose pizza option here we will choose the menu drop down menu right so out of that we will have to choose enum list right or even if there is any other top down list we can select from that right so we pick 
num list right then there is also extra option which also has a list so in num list again right so now what we can do is we will try and edit this right so there are values that we can add so add a value so here I will add Mexican then Italian right then classic and there must be one more which is peri peri right and now I will scroll see if I need to do anything else I will just click done same with extras well use for input here you can see then there is option for coke and then fruit juices click done right now what i can do is i can save and here i will take a look at one of the view that we can get right so I will just check the view. Let me go back. And here, let's try in a preview. Right? In full screen. And with desktop view, I will have to click add. And here you can see all the available drop down options for both these options so if i select anything mexican and then let's see coke if i say save let's see what happens so here is the new entry if i select that it will also tell you the timestamp for that i have not collected customer name or so that would be much better but considering the backend side they don't need to know the customer details email etc so this is from backend perspective for pizza order so we i we have managed to do that in google app sheet